Why do electrical wires have plastic around them? Why are switches made of metal and plastic buttons? In this video, we'll discover which materials let electricity pass through them and which ones stop it. Scientists test materials using a simple circuit with a gap. If we put something in the gap and the bulb lights up, electricity must be flowing through that material. Materials that let electricity flow through them are called conductors. The word conduct means to let something pass through. Conductors let electricity pass through easily. Most metals are excellent conductors. Copper, aluminium, iron and steel all let electricity flow through them easily. That's why the wires inside cables are made of metal. The best metal conductor is actually silver, but it's expensive, so we usually use copper instead. Gold is also an excellent conductor. It's sometimes used in expensive electronics because it doesn't rust. There are a few other substances that also conduct electricity too, such as water with dissolved materials in it, like tap water or seawater. That's why we're warned never to use electrical devices near water. Materials that block or stop electricity from flowing are called insulators. They're like electricity bouncers saying no entry. Plastic, rubber, glass and wood are good insulators. They resist the flow of electricity and keep it contained. That's why the outside of wires is covered in plastic and why light switches have plastic buttons. Electricians sometimes wear rubber gloves and rubber soled shoes because rubber is such a good insulator. It helps keep them safe when working with electricity. When we test a paperclip, the bulb lights up. It's a conductor. But when we test a rubber band, the bulb stays off. It's an insulator. What do you think would happen with a piece of wood? We use conductors and insulators together to make electricity work safely for us. The conductor lets electricity flow where we want it to go, while the insulator keeps it from going where it shouldn't. Look inside an electrical wire. The metal core conducts electricity while the plastic coating insulates it. This combination lets electricity travel safely from place to place without escaping. The human body is actually a conductor because it contains water with dissolved minerals. That's why we can get an electric shock if we touch exposed wires. Electricity can flow through us to the ground. Try this at home if you have a simple circuit. Test different objects to see if they're conductors or insulators. Make predictions first, then test safely. Remember, only test with low voltage batteries, never wall outlets. In our next video, we'll be looking at electrical safety and you can find that video here. You can also check out our full electricity lesson playlist. 